Next up is the Hornby Class 91 in Flying Scotsman livery. It's It definitely looks the part, apart from there isn't that much detail. It's the same mould in Hornby they've been using for years, so it's in definite need of a retool, but it definitely does look nice. Next up we have the Class 105 DMU in BR Green livery. This is by Backman. It's a very nice model. It runs okay. Probably needs wheel clean. And it does have working lights as well. But I do believe she's just stalled. So it could be a bit of a nightmare trying to get her out of this. Indeed she has. So it's, unfortunately I'm going to have to use the, the holy hand and she's done it again. This really doesn't run very good at all. Next up then we have the first of four class 108s. This is in BR green livery with half yellow warning panels made by Backman. Full interior lights and end and front lights. Amazing detail and I think she runs alright. Oh. and she stopped some of the wheels must be dirty or it could be just a dodgy connection in the track next up we have the Derby Lightweight DMU again this is made by Backman and again it's got full interior lights but unfortunately you can't turn them off which is a bit of annoyance but it definitely makes up for that with the detail it's really good detail so that's it Next up we have the first of the second generation DMUs and this is in class 150 uh, numbered 144 in first northwestern livery. The detail is just amazing on this. The underframe detail, the exhaust detail, it's just really really captured a class 150 well. So well done to Batman. Apart from that you can't see through the windows, but that really doesn't bother me too much. Next up is my second class 150, and this is in Central Trains livery. It's not the smoothest runner, as it will probably stall just now. Oh no, it didn't. This is the Hornby Class 153 in Northern Rail livery. This is great detail, it's got lighting, and altogether a really smooth runner. We shall see.
Okay, I've switched the um, layout into DC mode for a little bit. And in front of us we have the Airfix Class 31 in BR Green livery with white stripes. This is a quite old model now. Um, but it has stood the test stood the test of time quite well. It still looks quite decent and also it has got slim couplers as well, which Hornby didn't have at the time. So definitely thumbs up for Airfix for doing that. Next up then, we have the Lima Class 37, Dunrobin Castle, 37114, in BR Large logo livery. Um, this one really, it's been serviced, I think it needs a whole new motor, because as you can see, well here, it is really squeaky. We've done some modifications, we've painted the grills black on the nose. We've also added a snow plough and sprung buffers. Okay, next up we have a very poorly BR Green Class 4 seat. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. It just it doesn't run at all. It's it runs, but it's really, it just keeps juddering and juddering about. Um, yeah, it's by Brackman. It's a nice loco, but it's not that old and it's got real big problems. So I'm going to try and move it. As you can see, it just, just judders like that. So next up we have the Hornby Class 50 018. This is a very nice model. It's got opening doors, sprung buffers. But this has also had some big problems. So this used to be DCC until it blown its own chip and we haven't got one since. Basically why it did blow its own chip is because there was so much strain on the motor because of the spinning fans on the um, the roof and the side there. Basically, there's like a fan belt that goes to the motor, which drives the, the fans. And they just got so tight that it was really giving the motor some hard time. So it might have even damaged the, the motor, as you'll hear in a minute. It is quite squeaky. Next up is this Hornby Class 90 in freight liner livery. We've done some modifications, we've ripped the um, the front coupler off, we've painted the, the glazing for the, um, the lights, we've also painted the grills and the grills on the top. Um, this is a fairly good runner and I picked this up from the actual Hatton's shop when it used to be in when well, when it's in, when it was in Liverpool, well, it still is, but it's on the outskirts now. So, um, yeah, it's a nice little model. Okay, we have the Intercity One Two Five or HST or class 43 this is a Hornby Railways model in the intercity uh, well the first livery carried by the 125s um, this is old as I've told you about I bet it was 1975s 1976s um, yeah it's a nice model but nothing compared to today's standards but it definitely looks the part. 
especially when the um, the new ones are like an excess of two hundred pounds. So moving on to the um, non-digital DMUs, the first one is the Batmoon Class 108 in Metro Train Livery.